Hello and good day everyone. For today's project, we will make a tone circuit that has six different tone modes you can choose from. This project can be used if you are building an alarm circuit. But first, we need to gather some important materials for our project. Before we begin our project, I would like to say that this video was brought to you by UTSource. If you are looking for electronics for your project, UTSource is a great place for you. Aside from electronics components, they also offer other services so better check them out, and the link is in the video description below. First, put the M3766 IC in the breadboard, then connect the 12K resistor from pin 1 to positive rail in the breadboard as shown in the schematic diagram. Connect the 1L3 ceramic capacitor from pin 8 to pin 9. From pin 13 and 14, connect the 82K resistor. From pin 11 connect the 220 ohm resistor, this resistor will later on connected to the base of our transistor TIP41. Add the another pair of transistor and put it beside TIP41. From emitter of Q1 and base of Q2, add a 220 ohms resistor. From the collector of Q1, add the 470 microfarad capacitor. Parallel with the capacitor, add the 10 ohms resistor as shown in the schematic diagram. Gather your speaker and connect the hook lead wires in the speaker terminal. We can now connect our speaker to our project. Connect the speaker from collector of both Q1 and Q2. Take note that the collector is connected in the middle pin of the transistor. From the emitter of transistor Q2, add a jumper wire and connect it to the negative rail of the breadboard. Take note that the emitter is located at the left side pin of the transistor. Gather a jumper wire, and connect it in the 470 microfarad capacitor that is in parallel with 10 ohms resistor, then connect it in the positive rail of the breadboard. Gather a jumper wire and connect it in the 12K resistor, we will use this jumper wire to select tone mode in our circuit. Gather another jumper wire and connect it in the pin 8 of our IC, then connect it to the negative rail of our breadboard. Power up the power supply, you can set it from 3.5 volts up to 5 volts. But I just set it to 4.5 volts, after that, we can now connect the positive to the positive rail of the breadboard, and the negative to the negative rail of the breadboard.
Before we end our video, I would like to shout out our fellow friends and subscriber. Shout out to Jeffrey Lee Zasso. Shout out to Paul Mann 2015. Shout out to Takazu1985. Shout out to Gapnisario2475. Shout out to DV Noid Tech Vlog. And shout out to Carlo Javier, who is also a content creator, you can visit his channel for more repair tutorial. Shout out also to Electronics Technician Facebook group, where you can learn and share electronics stuff. This is Andrew Electronics, saying, stay humble, and be creative. Thank you very much.